west. They added that it was under control just before 10 p.m., but clearly smoke still affecting many people. Sean Chitna is live at the Alameda Ferry, where many commuters are going to wake up to an air advisory and also coming to the ferry building to see this themselves. That's right, Amanda. If you didn't smell the smoke or see it on your way coming to this location, once you get here to board the ferry, you cannot miss it. Let me step aside so you can get a sense of what we are able to see here. We know that the fire has now been uh, burning and the crews there have been responding for over 12 hours. And still right now, we can very clearly see flames at that site and then that thick, darker smoke coming right above and going straight up into the clouds. And even on such a cloudy day, you can notice the difference, which really gives you a sense of again how thick these clouds are. Now one update that we've just gotten is that although the fire continues to burn and it looks um, significant here, uh, we are being told that the, de the, de the debris has shrunk considerably and so uh, there is a little bit of progress being made there. Now let's take a look at what was happening yesterday because this is when it all began uh, late in the afternoon, early evening in Oakland. That's when people were first starting to notice that this fire was happening here. People telling us that they were able to smell it even when they were inside some folks at restaurants and that's why that air advisory is still there when it comes to the air quality uh, we're being told that if you can smell the smoke you need to go inside make sure both the doors and windows are closed here's a listen to what one person said uh, while they were out and about in oakland yesterday you can see like all the smoke um just kind of in a in the air and you can see that it's going like toward alameda And so while some people were at Jack London Square yesterday, we were told that they were noticing the smoke inside our restaurant. And so some of the businesses there decided to actually start handing out masks in the hope to try and help people to deal with this smoke. And we do know that the Oakland Fire Department uh, called out their hazmat team to investigate and start testing the air quality, looking for updates on that. We do want to point out, though, that there is, again, some progress that is happening here. And we have been hearing some explosions, actually, this morning. And the fire department is working to tell us exactly what that might be. So a lot to deal with as they are now battling this fire for about 12 hours. Amanda, Yeah, Sean, I, I can't imagine all the unknowns within that pile of debris and what they're actually dealing with within that. So obviously a very complicated situation there. Sean, thank you for that live report and those updates too.